Sometimes fish kind of look like a normal land animal. And it's important we keep the ocean weird like that. That's why we sent Nabil to meet a woman who's working to save seahorses and sea dragons. You know the phrase, there's plenty of fish in the sea? Well, it's actually not true. We actually need way more fish in the sea. Well, here at Birch Aquarium in San Diego, scientists are actually trying to help by studying and protecting endangered fish like seahorses and sea dragons. Let's go find out more. And our guide to this underwater realm where horses and dragons roam is marine biology queen and associate curator, Leslie Matsushige, whose job is to make sure that all the animals are happy and healthy. Growing up in Hawaii, I really enjoyed being at the ocean and I love to explore tide pools. And that curiosity back then, uh, I think led me to what I'm doing now. And what Leslie Matsushige is doing now is working as the associate curator, making sure all the animals are happy and healthy. Hey, Leslie, how's it going? Hey, Nabil. Good to meet you. Good, nice to meet you, too. Wow, this is amazing. So tell me about the conservation work you do with sea dragons and seahorses. What we're trying to do here is to mainly educate people about what sea dragons are and what seahorses are, and that they are an animal that is in our coastal habitats that are currently being threatened. It's my hope that people will see sea dragons and seahorses and see how amazing these fish are and that they will understand the amazing diversity that our oceans hold and that they will come to love our ocean and care for it and want to take care of it. So what makes seahorses and sea dragons so amazing? Well, believe it or not, they're actually fish who belong to the same family. Although these colorful cousins may seem different, like how seahorses have a curled tail to anchor themselves, while their longer-snouted friends mostly drift along looking like floating seaweed, they also share things in common, like having a head that looks like a horse, bony plates that act as armor against predators, and the males being the ones who incubate and carry their eggs. Leslie tells me their goal is to replicate a habitat here at the aquarium similar to what the animals would find out in the wild, including food but it's not quite as simple as going to the drive-thru, as she shows me in the Plankton Cultures area. So sea dragons, are they picky eaters? Would a sea dragon eat a french fry, a turkey leg? <laughs> I wish they would. No, they are very picky eaters. So picky that Leslie and her team make a basic food chain to produce the nutritious diet for their aquatic creatures. Starting with phytoplankton, or tiny plant cells that float in the ocean. They feed that to zooplankton, or animal plankton, which they then feed to mysis shrimp. And finally, they feed the mysis shrimp to the sea dragons. That's a lot of work to make food for one animal in your aquarium. It's a lot of work, but it's really important because they thrive with having enriched food. Only the best for our sea dragon. And another thing too is if they don't get in the, in, you know, enough nutrition, they may not be able to breed. And that's what we want. We want the adults to be healthy, breed, and produce babies. So do you ever stand outside the sea dragon tank and watch the animals as if it's a soap opera? And you're like, Jack is trying to swim with Christine, but Christine's not about it. I do. I do keep track of who I see courting with each other. And every once in a while, you'll see one kind of cut in. Oh no. So there is some. Some sea dragon soap operas going on in, in the experience. I love that. Thank you, Leslie, for teaching me about these amazing creatures, and congrats on getting them to fall in love. Speaking of which, do you actually have any tips for humans? Um, should I, like, start eating krill? Should I get into kelp? Dance lessons? What should I do? Well, unless you want to live under the water, I really can't help you there. <laughs> OK, well, it was worth a shot. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.